everyone, I'm Harry, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to do another How to Sound Like video. This time we're going to try and get the tines on this charming man by the Smiths. So before we get started, if you like this Sound Like video at any point, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way you won't be certain any of my future uploads. There's going to be affiliate links down in the description to every piece of gear I use in this video, and to record my videos. These do help support the channel out further, so I'd really appreciate you going and check them out. So I should say I managed to find a full multi-track of this, and I did it a while ago without a multi-track, and I was never really happy with it but having the multi-track allows me to listen to the isolated guitar parts and get closer that way and then of course mute the original guitar parts and keep all the other instruments and record my own in. So the reason why I decided to do this is because I was recently sent the Supro Chorus which is hands down one of the best analog chorus pedals I've tried and it has a couple of features on there like the time control which really allows you to tailor the chorus to get a bunch of different classic chorus tones. Now of course Johnny Marr would have been using a Boss CE1 or CE2 on this but I think the Supro Chorus does a really good job. I actually recently did a full demo of the Supro Chorus so if you like to see that, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. Of course, being Johnny Marr, this isn't going to be an easy one to play. The times on this are fairly simple. It's more about just getting the parts right. So around this time, there's rumors that he was using like an old Fender Tweed amp and a 54 Telecaster. So the guitar I'm using is my Matt Multi Classic, which is one of my favorite vintage style Telecaster guitars. The amp I'm using is my Cornell Romney Pro, which is kind of like a Fender Tweed version on Blackface Territory. And I've got it set around the same wattage as a Fender Tweed Deluxe would be. Now, now, Johnny Mars always said there's no overdrive on his tines, but you can definitely hear on this charming man that there's a very, very tiny bit of grit. So I've just turned up the amp enough so we're getting that same tone. Now, the original recording is actually at a weird hertz. So normal standard tuning is around A440 hertz, and this clock's in at around A429. So I've just done that on my tuner so we can match the original song. And that's all the parts. There is a little bit of reverb on this track, but considering he would have been using a Fender Tweed amp, which doesn't have reverb built in, they would have done it in post. So I've done that as well. I've just added it as a plugin in Logic. On the original, there's some acoustic guitars which I've left in because I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to focus on the electric because that's what most people want the time for. And there's just two guitar tracks, really. This the main part that plays all the way throughout. And then when the chorus comes in, there's some chords which go... So really simple, and they're exactly the same sentence for all the parts. So the signal chain is the Matt Moore T Classic into the Supra Chorus, and then into the Cornell Romney Pro. And then again, there's a tiny bit of reverb coming in from post. So if I show you what the guitar sounds like, I'm going straight into the amp, and then I'll kick on the Supra Chorus so you can see and hear what it's doing to our time. So the guitar straight in sounds like this. So there you go, you can hear the super chorus really nails this. I have the time control, which is like the delay time of the chorus quite low to get that kind of tight chorus tone, and then the rate and depth at a moderate speed. And then of course, I was just straight into the amp set, very clean, maybe a tiny little bit of grit, and just on the bridge pickup of the telly. Now that's exactly the same settings throughout the whole song, and even the little chord overdubs in the chorus as well. So I'll pull out from the intro song now, isolate the main track, you'll see the settings of the super chorus on screen, and then straight after that, I'll quickly pull out those little chorus chord overdubs as well. Again, the same settings and everything throughout. So that track isolated from the intro song sounds like this.
So there we have it. That was a look at how to sound like this Charming Man by The Smiths. A classic Smith song. Quite a simple one to get tones wise. It's just having those key ingredients like a telly, a tweed amp and the chorus pedal and it's all in your play. It's not a super easy song to play but nothing by Johnny Marr is. And for my Matt Multi classic to nail Johnny Marr's 54 Telecaster really came in handy and then the Cornell Romany Pro to give us that Fender tweed deluxe style flavour but the main thing that really nails this tone is that super chorus pedal giving us the classic chorus pedal tones. This is a killer all analog chorus pedal definitely become one of my favourites and having that time control to get that tight chorus tone that we hear Johnny Marr using really came in handy and I thought it really nailed the parts. Again, if you want to see my full demo of the Supra Chorus pedal, there'll be a link up in the cards in the description and pinned in the comments. But let me know down in the comments how close you thought I got to the original song and any future sound like videos you'd like to see me do. If you did like this sound like video, please leave a like, comment and subscribe, and hit the little bell notification for me as well. It really does help me out a lot, and that way when we're starting in my future uploads. Other than that, go onto my channel, check out some of my playlists, I have plenty more lessons, covers, gear demos, how to sound like videos, and anything guitar related. As always, I've been Harry, and thanks for watching.